Hey, what's up, everybody, dear friends and viewers? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. We're back in the Arboretum, and we just killed our first nightmare, which is a great achievement on its own because that thing had a lot of health. But uh, there's still a weaver flying around here, and I don't know if the whispering starts because I'm inside the coral stuff or not, but I can just block that off for a second and repair this thing. Ooh, I don't know what's happening on the left side there. Is, is there something happening? Don't see anything happening. Maybe I should first check upstairs how those people are. So let's do that. Everything's quiet. Turns are all down. Which I hope doesn't mean that everybody's dead in here. I'm just quickly gonna take a look. But there's still alive. I heard a mimic. So that's something. There we go. There goes the mimic. He tried to turn into a bucket to uh, fool me, but he's not gonna fool me, is he? He's not gonna fool me. Oh god! Why didn't the cycloscope see that? Scan complete. More specimens required. That's one of those grating mimics. Okay, so I'm guessing this thing can't detect those grating mimics. Um, which is of course a problem. I still hear one. There's definitely still one. Okay, he's still alive. I'm guessing he turned into an object because he was... Yeah, there we go. One of those is gonna be the Mimic. There we go. There we go. Couldn't scan it anymore, but at least it's dead. We've got a shotgun shell from that. I am out of bullets. I am actually out of pistol bullets, so that is interesting. Gonna have to deal with that somehow, but now there's a weapon upgrade kit here. Which I don't think was here before. But where everybody is, that is the bigger question, because they don't seem to be here anymore. I'm just going to check uh, down here again. Because this is one of the other areas that we haven't been to back again. That looks like there might have been a mimic right next to that, but... So I climbed all the way up, and I feel like we never actually checked out that building. Uh, which I'm pretty sure is right. So there should be a weaver around here, but I don't see it yet. So might as well go over there and see what's up. So let's swap over to the shotgun where we're going further up. And we still hear the whispering when we're going through the coral. So I don't know if we're actually losing our minds or if it's something else. I'm also not sure that if we... If we had, what's this? Just a box. Just a box. It's a lot darker here than it was before. Oh, there's another one of those mimics. God damn it, did it see me or not? There we go. Triple tap, and it's down, and I did get the scan. And a bit more bullets there. But I did lose a few bullets there as well. The bridge? Wait. How does that work? Might as well check that, I suppose. Don't know if I ever did. Um, hmm. Doesn't feel like I ever did. Because this seems to be another area. The Talos One Bridge doesn't seem... Hmm. I should probably wait with that. Wait with that or not. Decisions, decisions. I first want to check out... first want to check out the big building in the middle here before I go through another long loading screen. There we go. So let's go over here. So this building... I don't think I ever went into this building. So that's... Ah, of course. But that is... Ooh. I hear something. It's an etheric phantom walking around here with a mimic. Um, but he is still talking. So there's a mimic over there. And there's the etheric phantom. But where's the weaver? Hmm. This thing can duplicate though. And I'm not really itching for a fight right now. So you know what? The bridge might actually be a good idea. Because that is probably going to be Alex's 
um, area, Alex's uh, apartment, right up there, his office. Although, would we be able to climb up there? That would be interesting, right? Maybe using the tree? So the phantom is still there, but I think I should be fine. So if we... Aha! That actually works. Oh god, oh god. I don't think... I think I fell off. Yeah, there we go. So they're starting to hear me. But I'm right on top of the tree right now. I don't think they actually know where I am, but I'm really close to the to the apartment now. Obstruction detected. Please clear aperture of debris. Um, because if he if he attacks me from here, I'm gonna be boned. No, no. Oh god. Oh god. Well, now what? For fuck's sake. Okay, so. Please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. No, no, I fell off. I fell off. Um, I think. Oh god, the mimic is here. Good evening, Talos. This is a reminder that the identity of guests visiting Talos is strictly confidential. Ow. Will you please? Will you aim for one second? Jesus Christ, I suck at this! I think I killed it, but damn, that was almost all my health gone. Okay, not the brightest idea. Definitely not the brightest idea. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill it. So I think the shotgun does a great job of... Oh god. There we go. And then the mimic. There we go. Okay. There goes both of them. But where's the corpses? I really need the corpses. I need the materials. There's still something alive, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Definitely not the most graceful solution, but at least we're still alive. Um, let's try that again. So now, if I cannon over here, then we're right up here. Well, that's nice. So now, we're at Alex Yu's office. Hello, you dickhead. What are we going to do now? Because I barely have any. I don't have any ammo left. I should have checked out the recycler. Is this door? Oh, it's open. Okay. It's definitely open. Let's check the outside first. Now that we're here. Okay, a few fo food items, but that was it. So, let's head in here. There's a snake in my room when we were kids. I can do my computer. I still remember when you ruined my Galactic and Kiss to those save files. I broke your arm when I found out. I regret that now. Do you now? But I'm still not fond of you messing with my stuff. Well, tough luck, I'm gonna take your neuromold. There we go. Fuck off, Alex. Fuck off. Another weapon upgrade kit, so that is nice. So I think I should probably go into my final lab tag upgrades. We can also just carry this out of the way. There we go, and open that up. And that, ooh, there's a fancy room behind here. Uh, what else is here? So there's the Neural Horizon 2. I asked Brandy if she felt betrayed by her paraplexus. So that's the disease that causes them not be able to, in, well, install neural molds. She nodded, not in agreement, but understanding my point. Because they discovered they could map my brain, but I can't accept a neural mold myself. Her smile became firmer. I think that makes the gift more meaningful. It would be a year before it was quietly decided by Transtar to receive no further neural maps, connectomes from paraplexus patients citing unspecified risks. So there might be something else going on. So we don't have the password and it's of course very highly securely locked. But what is Alex actually a doctor in? Dr. Rerum Naturalium. 
Wait, in the in the the natural stuff. That's interesting. There's a a safe. Hmm. Can't really do anything with the safe, but there's a few more bullets in here, which means that I can reload this bad boy. And this seems to be, is that supposed to be a secret wall of some kind? That's interesting. There's this weird machinery in this room that I don't really know the purpose of, but... What else do we have here? Nothing else in the office itself, but there's an upper level to this place. And I do have a nice vantage point from here, but I'm still wondering where the freaking weaver is that made all this stuff. Um, hmm. But otherwise, this seems to be his relaxation spot. Is there... There is something here, but it's just another magazine. Terraforming Mars. And then... A telescope. Okay. Is there supposed to be something here? It's just... Watching the moon. Watching the DLC, probably. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Oh, wow, wait a second. There's something... Oh, that is probably Alex's escape bolt. That is probably Alex's escape bolt. That is interesting. So it needs to be moved over here so I can escape? Or is, does that ramp lower? Probably the latter. Hmm, but that does mean that there's not really much in the way of items over here. Because there's basically nothing here. Oh, never mind. I should look a bit further. So a few more materials here, but still not that much. A few spare parts from the guy that was probably fixing this machinery over here. But then... I don't know if I can climb in here. Yes, I can. So we checked out that roof. Are there other... Ooh. What is this? This rock is hollow on the inside. And I can actually reach this rail over here so i could probably reach that area if i wanted to so i'm gonna try something really risky here i'm gonna try and go from one um glue cannon thing to the next so i could eventually reach the other side so just slowly make my way across so i'm pretty level with it now so there we go there we go. Okay. So now we're here. What does that mean? So that clearly says stand clear now that I look at, at it from this angle. So I'm not sure what that is all about. So the tracking bracelet for Alex. And a neuro mold. And another med kit. Does that mean that Alex is actually in this thing? Is there anyone in there? There's nobody in there, but there's clearly something there. So that must be his personal escape pod. But we don't have the key since we never followed uh, December's quest line. Now, the one thing I did see was that that mountain over there is hollow. So let's just hover over here and then hover down here. So wait a second, Julian Howard. I think this was one of the more important guys, right? Yesterday's batch was an abysmal failure. Piss poor root initiation. However, Dr. Lin from Psychotronics was Ow. kind enough to provide me with a sample of material that should multiply the effectiveness of the fucking hormones when applied to already mature okay. plants. I expect reduced time to maturity, increased yield, and an above normal salutary effect. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like shit. I just need permission to run the plant through the fabricator. Okay, come on, bad boys. That was nasty. God damn it, didn't expect that. And those mimics pack a punch, holy crap. Because I think that counts as a critical attack against me. If they attack me from that state. And that's why it does that much damage. But that was heavy, damn. Whew. I almost died because of that. And I was, t I was listening to the transcript at the same time. So that was annoying, but... Uh, so that was just about something else that was about growing stuff. So I don't think he had anything to do with the other stuff here. I'm going to heal up further. There we go. And there's another health kit down here. So let's take that. And now we're behind. Oh, 
We're behind here. Okay, that makes sense. So most of those screens are actually... Uh, well, breakable, so you can go through them. And I forgot that that was actually a screen, yeah. So I could just come through that. That was a nice hidden area. Okay, so that means we pretty much explored most of the areas I didn't yet. And we killed pretty much everything again. Aside from the fact that there are a few rogue operators down there, but that should be fine. So let's check out the bridge area now. Um, I'm running out of everything, which is fine. I still have plenty of materials to spend on uh, bullets and the like. So I don't really mind. I did get damaged a bit, but I can heal off uh, pretty, pretty much everything right now. So the bridge. The bridge. So the command deck and escape bolts. I don't think we've been here yet. Uh, and that's a turret and a corpse. So that's not a good start. I was hoping I would find some live people over here. I think if he transforms into something, I can actually get a, a stealth attack in. Or I could just go for it. Because this thing moves erratic. Uh, no. There we go. And that seems to be the corpse of something big. So at least a phantom. That is interesting. I would want to hit any these things. Because there are just so many. I'm just gonna keep my wrench handy for a bit. Because I don't wanna I don't wanna get spooked again. I hate mimics. So. Uh oh gold! Um, there we go. God damn you, that gets me every single time. I thought, oh yes, look at that, something I can actually use, a crate with stuff in that. No, no. I should have known because of the broken turret, but let's repair that bad boy. There we go. And take a look at that. Okay, okay, calm down. You're fine, you're still alive. There's a real supply crate. We have two ways to go. So either go to the command deck over there or to the escape pods down there. The command deck seems like the better option at first. So let's check that out first. I kind of forgot this man's name. Matt Cotron. Cotron. Just gonna read out my shoji. Another corpse and definitely another mm, voltaic. Phantom over there. So, um, definitely no one alive there, but what the hell is that thing spinning over there? That is interesting. So, Spencer Ogden. The slide in... Uh, that's another slide. We'll take Phantom. Okay, we know what to do with that guy. EMP charge to the face. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. Triple shot, and he's down. Those guys are freaking out, but it's locked. So I would think they won't be able to get to me. And uh, we got a few new items over there. So there's definitely one Voltaic over there. Let's mark him. There we go. And at least we know where he is. And then the other one was... Uh, I think it was a Mimic. Yeah, I think that thing turned into a Mimic. Okay. So this is locked, and I don't I don't have the capabilities of opening that. And this is another one of those weird terminals we saw before. But the email terminal for Penny Tennyson. Let's read that. Can I zoom in on that? No. Where are you? Hello, Penny. The operator I sent you to you is cycling now, unable to locate you. Is there something wrong with your tracking bracelet? Did you leave Talos? LOL. I heard there was an accident down in Cargo Bay. I hope you are okay. Let me know when you get this. Thanks, Peter Coleman. Then readings around Talos. Hi, Peter. At last, I have a free day to take solar energy readings from around Talos to validate shielding efficiency. I'll be all over the place for the next 24 hours and will post my itinerary below. Please let me know if you will be running any particle processes since it may influence my readings. Thanks. So that's her 
Ah, so we could technically find a corpse that way because we can see where she went. And then, hello, Penny. We are running a variety of processes that may influence your data. I have your itinerary, so I will dispatch a science operator with some tools to help you get clean readings. Keep a lookout for it. And then Izumi's birthday surprise. Hey, everybody. I talked with Captain Marks and she agreed to give us half a half hour at end of shift tomorrow to celebrate Izumi's birthday. If you bring a present, put it in the small table in the briefing room. We'll all head in there under the guise of a meeting and surprise her with toast and presents. I'm going to pester Will for a real cake. Fingers crossed. Remember, it's a surprise. So Will is the actual cook, not the cook we saw before. Still need to kill or at least take out that guy. Is that a chair too many? Because I can't really know anymore, right? I feel like I need to smack that thing, but... What's this? Another transcript from Math Cothran, so the guy outside. Let's listen to that. What do you have for me, Cothran? Chief, yeah, so I checked that flight plan for the volunteer shuttle like you requested. You're right, it went dark in 12 minutes before it resumed a path towards Earth, but at a slightly different trajectory than before. It's almost unnoticeable, like it left from a different part of the station or changed its flight pattern around Talos. 12 minutes? What about the other shuttles? It's only the volunteer shuttles, but it's all of them. They go dark eight to ten minutes after leaving the station, then suddenly reappear. The VIP shuttles don't show the same... irregularity. Got it. Don't talk to anyone about this. About what, Chief? Exactly. Good work, Matt. Elazar out. Okay. So were people trying to escape already? That's a bit weird. Captain's Loft, that sounds great. But this is the birthday... Uh, woman, girl, Izumi Minami. So she has food and a soup repair kit. That's sad. And there's another transcribe over here from Alika James. I, I got an SOS from a Kirk Remmer. I was gonna route him to security, but we got cut off. He said he was at the escape pods in life support. So call chief show up in deep storage. I'm not a network engineer. You're his supervisor? Lady, do you people even know what is happening down here? One of my cargo bays is blown wide open, and I've got multiple MIAs. Please tell me there's a medical team on the way. I'm sorry, I don't know, but I can relay your message to Dr. DeVries and- Christ, I've gotta go. So definitely the cargo bay blew up at some point. We haven't been there yet, I think. And I do need to be careful here, because there might be... Because there's nobody left here. I thought there was going to be at least a few people, because I thought we saw that on the... The crew stuff. The, uh... Okay. That's a weird noise. Uh, I thought we saw we all that... Blah, blah. I thought we saw that on the security monitor. So Omar Bolivar, who has the briefing room key. That's good. So I'm guessing that's the briefing room where the Voltaic Phantom is. But they also have the surprise for Izumi in there. So that might be something that helps us out. Sky Braxton's terminal. Can't wait for the new hires and wipe that smile off your face. I know you're smirking. I just pray there's no new folks in Psychotronics as part of the Earthside rotation. And agreed. And I still can't believe you agreed to that extra neuromod knowing how creepy those psychos are. But worse, the lack of personality is contagious. Even Morgan's got glassy eyes now. Hasn't smiled or made a joke in, what, a month? A year? So that was, of course, because we were being tested. I'm just gonna smack everything again. We're back to the beginning of the game. Smacking everything that moves, well, doesn't move. And then we have the Talos 1 monitoring. Um, not for technical issues with screens contact. Dr. Lorenzo Calvino or Mio Okabe, camera orbit. Whoa! Oh! Oh, so we're not actually looking at something. We're just looking at the... Oh, at one of the cameras that actually monitors the station. That is cool. So this is not the window. This is another one of those fancy screens. Huh. Interesting. So there's definitely something weavery on the outside of some of the buildings. We're going to have to see about that in a second, but... Let's check out the briefing room. So, cheeky quick save and then get ready with the EMP charge. He's down there. So, might as well take out the mimic. Like this. And then get the EM no, the EMP charge. That's the EMP charge. 
and toss it right in his face. There we go. And there we go. That's all of that. And there's another engineer. Okay, so this was definitely a birthday party. But there's lots of items here. So I'm not sure what is going to be what. I'm going to have to be careful. Um, I'm just going to keep the shotgun ready. Sky Braxton with a burn circus board and a super thermal amp. But of course, I don't think that's for the psychoscope, right? So yeah, the super thermal ability. Um, those aren't... Mimic Seidig. And then this. Ooh, Perry Fulbright. So they definitely died all in here. The bridge safe. Can't really access that either. But we do have another door here. Were they just attacked by the Mimics or did anything else happen? Because I feel like this is a weird place for them to die. Just over here. Like they were still partying and never realized what was going on. I don't think any of this will... The Mimic, right? Famous last words. So there's six six cans in a bag, so I can take all that. There we go, that's fine. That's fine, no need to freak out about that. So there's another... Okay, another door here. And I'm gonna take the bolt cast as well. Authorized personnel only. Clearance required beyond this point. That could be a Mimic. But it's probably not. Oh, what was that noise? Come on, game. Stop with the... Stop with the jump scary noises. Oh, that was bullshit. That was bullshit. Where did that chair come from? Ooh, gold. Where does this lead to? Or doesn't it lead to anything? That's a weird place to put a chair. A bar stool like that. I don't really... I don't really want to go down there, but... Here goes nothing. Arm to the wrench. Hello? Oh, it's gonna be one of those... One of those poltergeists, isn't it? So once shit starts moving... I'm gonna... We have to switch to the shotgun really, really quickly. Oh god. Where the fuck am I? Is this gonna lead anywhere or am I just spooking my- Yeah, that's definitely one, isn't it? I think it- Yeah, okay. It missed. And I'm wasting my ammo. Oh. Stop doing that. Stop doing that game. Stop doing everything you're doing right now. Okay, what are we chasing down the tunnels? What are we chasing down the tunnels? Are you still here? Stop. Stop. Please just stop. Okay. Ah, wait, I'm just here again. That doesn't make any sense. Um, then what was supposedly chasing? Well, what was I chasing? That's a bit weird. That's also weird. Why, was, why wasn't that there before? Wait, what the fuck is going on? Those items weren't there before, right? I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm gonna have to calm down. Calm down. The music is putting me on edge. I'm really not faking this. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in here. Because this... Did I... Stop doing that. So this just goes back. So yeah, okay. Just had to remind me of that. So the only place we haven't been yet is the captain's quarters. Hello? Captain? Oh, captain, my captain? You still... Oh, yeah. Okay. You die. I love my psychoscope. 
At least it's a bit. Oh my god, what the hell happened here? Uh. Ow! God damn it. There was another one, but. The and that was a normal one. Why didn't my psychoscope say anything? That mold is useless. The music changed as well, so I might have discovered something. What was the bleep? Something bleeped in my ear. There we go. Healed up to full again. I'm really running out of ammo. Can I sit in this? No, not in the captain's chair. And then the captain herself, probably. Yeah, Captain Marks. Transcribe. Here we go. This is Captain Jada Marks. I'm setting down for posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos 1. Best guess, based on telemetry data, advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security. 30 minutes. It is within that narrow gap of uncertainty. I must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers. They may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain! We could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now! I don't... Okay, and we did get a new transcribe. Is that something else then? Did I? I thought... Your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. And another one. Alex, this is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Mark's out. So, as I understand it, a lot of people tried to escape, but one of the pods escaped too late, which might have caused them to contain mimics aboard, and they're now heading towards Earth. But there's also five people on board. For this playthrough, I've actually decided to not kill any humans, so my choice is already made there. The flight log. Flight was uneventful until 11.33 when radar detected an unidentified shuttle approximately 30 degrees off our flight path at 9,000 clicks. Its drift and rotation indicated malfunctioning maneuvering thrusters. There was no answer to radio calls. Captain Cooper ordered a course adjustment to bring us alongside. As we maneuvered to within 60 kilometers, a second shuttle appeared on radar in the vicinity of the drifting vessel. Transporters identified it as a military vessel. We received a radio message to resume our original heading immediately. Captain Cooper asked if assistance was required on the order from the military shuttle was repeated. All highly unusual, but then I got really strange. The captain spotted it first. There was a facility out there and it was running absolute, absolutely dark. No lights, radar transparent. We were too far to see any details, but it was big. Cooper snapped into action, punched in a course to Talos, and fired the engines. We moved out as quickly as possible. Our passengers were clueless to the entire encounter. Our arrival at Talos went smo by smoothly and the passengers and cargo were delivered safely. There was another station. Well, things are getting more and more interesting, aren't they? Um, so we did get the code for the safe in the briefing room, if I recall uh, correctly. And this is where we can make a choice. Uh, shuttle landing countdown, Seattle facility, or remote detonate, scuttle charges. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna let... Oh, this is actually timed. So in two minutes we're gonna see what happens. Well then. I guess we have two minutes to uh, spend here. Let's check out the email terminal then first, because there's two... Things here, the PA system, station-wide announcements are pre-recorded and played according to a regularly scheduled rotation. I can actually disable those. Thank you. I think they're disabled. Evacuation announcement, emergency evacuation message cannot be triggered without authorization from Alex U. Let's enable that though. I want the evacuation to still be happening. I'm quickly gonna check uh, downstairs uh, for the safe so we should be able to do that i don't think enemies 
extra enemies spawn while you're still in the same area, I hope. Otherwise, I'm gonna get jump jumped in a second, but I think we got the code for this thing. We didn't. Okay. Now, what did we get? We got the code for Jada Marks' safe, but that should be in her captain's office then. So she said, bring the gun from my cabin. Just re-listen to the, the audio diary. But this is not her cabin then, probably. So her cabin is probably in the crew quarters, which contains her safe, which we now have the code to. Okay. So I think we're pretty much at the end of the timer here. So 20 more seconds. I'm just gonna wait and see about that. And there we go. It just ended. Okay, yeah, objective complete, I know, I know, I know. Let's check the rest of the emails here. So, shuttle advent, Captain Marks, before it's too late, I thought you needed to know that the shuttle advent departed just before the first alarms. They did go through standard inspection, but that was before we, know what we knew what to look for. If they land in Seattle with one of those things aboard, I've been able to scuttle charges on advent, they can be activated remotely from the bridge. So we know that. And then Captain Marks, your transcribe is offline. I can't reach you and I know you wouldn't leave Talos while there was still crew aboard. I know it's a long shot, but if you get this message, contact me. I'm in Cargo Bay at the moment. I have a handful of survivors with me. I hope you're okay. So we definitely need to get to Cargo Bay. So one more area we haven't checked out just yet is down there. So the escape bolts. If anyone's still alive down there, we might have a little chat with them as well. Because this might be a pretty big area. Help get. Don't mind if I do. So this looks exactly like the ones we've seen in the life support section. It's pretty damn similar. And that's a few too many chairs for my liking. Is one of them twitching? Neither of them is twitching. None of them is twitching. Okay, so I'm just going to equip the shotgun. And blast anything that reacts to me being here. So Sadie Hall. An EMP charge fabrication plan and a Psy Amp. Psy Amp is also probably going to be for the Psychoscope. Something definitely died in there, but... Um, we can initialize launch on these ones, but I don't think you can actually escape using these. Frayed wire and suit repair kit and then a dead... Typhon, whatever it's supposed to be. Stop doing the flickering lights thing every time I open up the door. That's nothing. Stop, stop doing... Stop doing that. Open this guy up. Nothing in here either. Okay. And now we get weird music. Stop it. There's a blood stain on this one. So that would mean... Oh. Hello, buddy. Hello, Will. Morgan, you... <coughs> this pod will work. But I do not know how to launch. We are over now. <laughs> no, no. No, no. I disarmed it. I disarmed it. I saw his charge. He wanted to blow me up again. I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. Um, I hope that doesn't count as a kill. Because I think he just killed himself. I I took care of the... I didn't kill him. I, I didn't. Please, game, I didn't kill him. We, did, we got our revenge, but he just died because there, there was blood all over the place already. He must have been attacked by that phantom over there. Okay, so we still don't know who he was. He has a bit of food on him, but that's basically it. And we got the recycler charge from the wall. Ah, but there are two neuromoles in his briefcase over here. Um, I could actually just initialize launch. I do love that that was his final act. He was trying to kill us with that. That's a cool detail that he's still here. And that we could just find him, but it's definitely not Will Mitchell. Definitely not Will Mitchell. The other two pods seem to be empty, so that's 
it for the escape pods area. Which is, well, logically where uh, the fake cook was uh, gonna go, of course. So that's, that's another side quest done. Bye, Will Mitchell. Okay, so with that done... Ooh, there's another one of those alarm panels over there. The and then we can whack, whack, <sighs> whack. No, it's not Space one. Limited, so your by emailing Dr. Dalton. I thought I turned you off. Apparently not. So, leaving back to the abortum. So, back here, it's high time we get into deep storage. I'm hoping none of the enemies have respawned, because that's gonna hurt if they did. Okay, for now it's quiet. I need to head down. So I love, I do love that the game remembers where you put the glue cannon, uh, the glue stuff. There we go, back here. And I'm hoping we're gonna get a recycling or a fabricator soon, because otherwise I'm gonna... I'm gonna be boned. So this guy is still here, and we can now open up the door. identification required. Alex, Oedipus Complex, Pompous, Nepotist. And there we go. With Danielle's show's recording, we can now go into deep storage. Okay. Oh, God. Thank you, Alex. Sorry, Morgan. But I have to lock you in this time. When I trashed your arming key, it was to keep you from making a huge mistake. It's too late to stick our heads in the sand. We're committed now. You should be safe in deep storage. When everything is ready, we'll meet in my office. I hope you believe me. I really am on your side. Oh, You're just gold. Not yourself. What is he firing at? Not at me. Welcome to deep storage. If Talos One had a subconscious, this would be it. You're looking for the central repository. That's where you stash the drive that has the plan for your arming key. I'll see if I can find a way out of here in the meantime. Okay, thank you, January. Uh, there's another neuro mold over here behind the trash can. And a lot of other stuff. There's notes here. Ivy St. Christopher, protect me. That's a password. And make sure to let the new guy in 3845. So that's a code and a password in one go. And that's a password for something. Is the game going to tell me? There we go. To stay well access. First, the emails from Zachary West. Freaky B, mean, Akande is a nice guy, and who can blame him for trying to get off corrective? And wanting a real desk instead of a car table? He sits out there all by himself with nothing to do. I feel sorry for him, you should try to be nice to him. I don't like mean people. From Ivy to Zachary West. And then the treasure hunt. So Zachary is also in on the treasure hunt, but that was Jennifer Lee, not Zachary. So where is Zachary exactly? There's a tunnel down here, and I usually start down the alternate parts first, so this is an interesting start. Going down the tunnel, the tunnel, the bowels of, oh god. Panic ensues when we encounter two objects. What the fuck was that? that moves through the station is captured here. Redundant backup servers are stored in modules that eject in the event of a catastrophic failure. The fact that they haven't yet is telling of Alex's refusal to face reality. I think I'm gonna have to go down again. There's a Technopath in here. And Technopaths are really dangerous. Oh God. And then Alex says we're safe in here, you fucking dick. So I think I can take out the operator from here. Oh god. I think I can actually throw an EMP in there. That's quick save. Let's think the wall on top of each other. Ooh, there we go. So that's that. And now I can use the disruptive stun gun a few times. Oh god! He doesn't care about the EMP apparently. So for some reason I placed that EMP. 
And now I can use the stun gun. And start zapping him. And I think I can finish him off with the shield gun now. There we go. Okay. That is that. They, oh, wow. Holy crap nuggets. Well, that's a sight. Um, and yes, crap nuggets is a word. So we can open this side room. Should probably equip the disruptive stun gun for this. Three, eight, four, five, because I hear robotic voices on the other side. No? Okay, I'm gonna cancel it then. There we go, biohazard waste and header bends. Sorry, header. You had to die in the toilet. Well, you died like Elvis Presley, that's something, uh, I suppose. Oh, the operator is in the ceiling. So this opens up to the upper floor. But I'm still a bit mute on how what that gets me. I think those are shotgun shells. And a bit of beer. And a note. Akande, who approved your request for shotgun rounds? We all agree there's something in here, but please don't damage the equipment. Okay. And then Akande Chief's show says you've been great. Your corrective is closed. I'm very impressed. We'll be getting you that workstation ASAP. So that's the guy that was just sitting at this card table. The, the email was talking about that. And he was just... Uh, over here on his own. What else are we dealing with? Sounds like a lot of electricity. And that definitely is. But I'm gonna get zapped the moment I try to open up that door. We actually have the password to this. Yeah, so that's the one we found before. And that opens up files. The Hunter's Boltcaster again, we've seen that. Although that's a bit weird. Play with me, babe. No, okay, it's the same thing though. And then an email. Hey Ivy, Bannon was snooping around my desk looking for rats again. He's so weird. I mean, rats in space who is acting all big city cop. Newsflash, no crime in orbit. They need to ship him home. I don't think you should talk to him. I don't like the way he looks at you and make sure you get the fab plan I sent you. You have to play the game with me. Everybody's in. So I could technically open this up because um, I can't carry this. But I feel like I'm going to get zapped or not. I can't really do anything with this. It's in the way. Ah, there we go. I pulled it out. So that's... What the hell is that noise? Because that sounds like a poltergeist. What the hell? Is that a... There's a weaver in here. Yeah, there it is. It's getting zapped though. Ah, and there it goes. Okay, so weavers are extremely vulnerable to electricity. There we go. And then I can just power on through. Please don't hit me in the face with that. Repair this bad boy. There we go. And then check out the rest of this area. Because I still hear arcing. Is it above me? Yeah, there's, there's a few things above me that are affected as well. But for now, this seems to be fine. We did get a free weaver kill. That's always nice. So 15 organs there. Oh, and there's a cystoid behind. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this thing can 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 get out. So, Andrew Gray. And he has another glue cannon. I would love a recycler of some sort. And this seems like the ideal room to put one in. And even though I can't really find any fabricator or something like that, I do find other stuff. Oh, I'm going to take the shotgun shells, though. 
And this is Akande. Oh, that's sad. So that was the guy that never got his own office. That's that's so sad. Um, but otherwise, this room doesn't seem... I thought there was going to be a door out of here, but there's two data vaults that I can't enter at the moment. That was a wet noise. But maybe I can try to get higher up. But I'm going to have to repair that thing along the way. Give me a second. I'm going to try. So I think I got it. If I can manage to use the pipes to get over there. Um... Oh god, yeah, I'm down again. There we go. Okay. Let's repair numero uno. There we go. Then over on top of the white pipes. There's one over there on the right. And on the left as well, so... That one is protected now. And that one is as well. So let's first go over here. Repair this bad boy. There we go. And now we need to get to the other side before it blows. Because this thing actually... I need to get out. Ooh. There we go. Blows again. Um, there we go. Now I need to get a bit closer. To actually... Oh. Repair this thing. Right on top of it. I'm actually running out of spare parts. Oh god, that was not what was supposed to happen there, um, but hey, where are we now? Ah, okay, so I'm right above where I was before, there's a few things we can check from here. I first want to check the ceiling further. Okay, so now, where do these pipes actually lead to? There's one way over here, but that doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Aha! Aha, aha, aha. So we can drop into the kiosk here, and the kiosk has both a fabricator and a recycler. Is that a good idea, however? So there's at least one mimic there. Um, so let's shoot that thing. There we go. And then I think I should be able to just drop down. Oh, gold. Oh, there's a thermal. Oh god. Where is the thermal phantom gone? Is he healing himself? There we go. Okay, just head on, face him head on. And this gives us a nice base of operation for the next episode, I think, because we killed three mimics and a thermal phantom. I'm gonna suppose that there's nothing else in here. And then we have the integral structure. Your suit is more resistant to environmental hazards that degrade its integrity. There we go. Let's slide that in as well. And then I can recycle all my stuff. And lots of colorful cubes again which also allows us to make more stuff over here. Is that a, a safe I can open up? No, deep storage safe, can't really access that yet. But let's make some more stuff. We also have Dr. Howard's growth formula. Might actually make that, I have plenty of organic material, so let's do this. That's probably for one of the, yeah, the side quests, so growth formula. That's one, and then let's make some more ammo. And we still need to check our neural mods, but we know what we're going to do. We're going to go into lab tech 2. So that allows us to basically make any upgrades to any of our weapons that we want. We still have four weapon upgrade kits as well. So might as well put those in our uh, disruptor and the Q-beam. So especially the disruptor is going to come in handy in this area. So more power. There we go. Even do that again. And... Hmm. Do I put everything in this thing? I think we should, right? Let's upgrade it to 10 shots. That is massive. And then we can even upgrade it to 15 shots. But the stun to amplify damage to robotic targets, we can do that again. 
And now we have one hell of a stun gun already. But this is... Ooh, decreases drain rate as well. Recharge rate and decreases drain rate. Huh. I want to have that as well. So I think I'm going to put most of my weapon kits into the disruptive stun gun from now on. Because this is one a badass weapon. So next up I'm going to focus on my hacking skill I think. Because necropsy could be nice for the extra materials, but I have plenty of exotic materials anyway, so uh, yeah, I think uh, hacking will be our next tree to fill out. And we, with that, we have a nice little base that is still on fire, however, so let's just uh, quench the fire there, repair. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna repair them because that's gonna, that's not gonna be good. Oh, there's two more neuro molds in here as well, and an asteroid fragment, but. With that, we have a nice little base and I'm gonna take a little break so because I've been going for way too long again. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And when we get back, we're gonna dive deeper into the data vault. So uh, see you guys in a second, in, in a second, not really in a second, but in the next episode in a few days. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.